What's up rail fans? Today we find ourselves in Anole Yard in 2016 looking at what is literally got to be the world's smallest locomotive. Seriously, look at that thing. But before we get into that, I want to welcome any new viewers to the channel. Here on this channel we talk about all aspects of railroading, both big and small, including little tidbits like this. I appreciate you dropping in and I hope that you'll continue along with this journey as we delve into the nooks and crannies of not only modern day but also 20th century railroading. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and also the bell next to it to be notified when I upload new videos. Just hitting the subscribe button does not notify you when I upload new videos, just so you're aware. You have to hit that bell button. So if you want to be notified, hit the bell button. Another thing I want to encourage everybody, whether you're a first time viewer or a regular viewer, is to join in the conversation. If you haven't been paying attention to the comments, you need to start reading those. Well, you don't need to do anything, but you should. We've been having some really good conversations, especially with these more unscripted, off-the-cuff videos that you guys seem to love. Well, I say guys, but also girls, my female viewers, <laughs> all three of you. We've been having some really good conversations here, and I want to say thanks to all of you who chimed in and given your information and given your knowledge. Sometimes, you know, you've been able to correct me or fill me in on things that I didn't know, and that's greatly appreciated. That's what this is all about. I want to take this even further than just YouTube. I'll talk about that in later videos, but for now, the subject at hand is this. Conrail locomotive number zero is a true oddity of the railroad industry. First of all, just the fact that it's still in Conrail paint. In fact, this could be very well the last operating locomotive on Norfolk Southern in Conrail paint. But this little doohickey or gizmo, if you will, it's an electric shop switcher. It's a single power truck that's powered by electricity and it's supplied by the, the electricity is supplied by a tether. If I'm if I'm correct, if there's anybody out there who knows differently, obviously put it in the comments. It's battery powered and radio controlled and has basically spent its life at Enola moving locomotives in and out of the wheel true building. I'll tell you, it's something to see that little thingamajig moving big monsters around like the 1703 that it's about to couple onto and take into the shop. But what's interesting about this picture is all three locomotives have an interesting story behind them. That 1703, that's an ex Erie Lackawanna SD45 2. Now, I did a video about the SD45-2 a few months back, but actually it was back in 2018. I'll throw a link to that video in the description. The SD45-2 is one of only six on Norfolk Southern. Not only one of six SD45-2s, but I do believe one of six remaining Erie Lackawanna units on Norfolk Southern. I could be wrong about that. If I am, put it in the comments. It's also one of the handful of pre-Conrail predecessor road locomotives on NS. I'm going to be doing a small video, short video like that, something akin to what we're doing here in the days ahead. But without getting too deep into it and giving away too much, there are still some Erie Lackawanna, Penn Central, Lehigh Valley, and Reading locomotives that are still on Norfolk Southern serving. Obviously not in their paint, but they're, they are on Norfolk Southern. In fact, one of them's in this video. Another oddball locomotive on NS is that 101 sitting there. It's one of only two on the railroad. These are four axle, three engine genset locomotives. The two units were assembled in Juniata in 2007 from kits supplied by Rail Power Technologies using the frames of former Norfolk Southern, nay Southern, GP38 AC diesels. They're classified as RP20BDs. In this image here, we have an interesting look at today's Norfolk Southern Power. The obvious subject of interest is that 100 smack dead in the center of the screen, the sister to the 101. Coupled to it is 2101, an ex Reading Railroad switcher, still holding it down for the Norfolk Southern. In the background there, you have two ex Conrail locomotives, an SD60I and a Dash 840CW. In the background there, that's the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania skyline. Here's another picture of the 100, still coupled on to the 2101. And ironically, look what's above it in the background. That's the Erie Heritage Unit. 